I am going to make a video on how to use um, generic child variants in Virtumart 3. Now, this is great if you have um, one sort of parent product that might have a couple of different subcategories, but not multiple variants. So, for example, a t-shirt has multiple variants. You have um, several colors and you have several sizes, and those can be mixed together in different combinations. So you need a multi-variance um, category for that. But I am doing an LED website, and this light here, this product here that I'm going to set up, is an LED sign module, and it only comes in two varieties. It comes in a white, and it comes in an RGB. Um, so there's only two different categories. So what I need to set up is a parent product, which would be LED sign modules, and then I need to set up two children, white and RGB. And the reason I'm going to do that is because on the front end, on the website, I want to be able to click on one thing, which would be the category LED sign modules, and then when I click on that, I want those two subcategories to pop up. So it's just tidy looking on the front end. So here we go. I'm going to start, uh, I'm in my products uh, list here. So I'm going to set up a new product. And I'm going to call this LED sign modules. There they are. I'm not going to give this product a SKU number because the white and the RGB modules have their own SKU. So when I create the child categories, I'll do um, I'll give each child category a SKU number. But the parent, I don't have to give that a SKU number. I am going to give it some categories though, um, because otherwise it tends to get lost in the uh, in the ether here. So I'm going to call it sign modules. And what else comes up here? The more categories, the better, because then it's easy for customers to find it. So there we go. There's three categories that this could belong to. So now I'm going to save that. So there's my basic product info. I can go in and fill in product descriptions and stuff later. We're just going to do the basics. Now I'm going to put an image in, and this image will come up um, whenever. I click on this item. So here it is. It's actually the very first one on the list there. And we will save and close that. And when we get back to our products list, there it is, LED sign module. So now I'm going to click on that again, open it back up. And I'm going to create two children. And one would be the white module and one would be the RGB module. So here we go. Okay, so back, uh, click on product information, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see add a child product. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to just add, I'm going to create, this is the white module. So we're going to add that. This does have its own SKU number, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in now. There it is. Um, I won't bother adding a product category because the parent has those categories already. Um, so there we go. I'm going to save and close that. When we get back to the product list, you'll see that now LED sign modules has one child and there it is. The white module and it's the child of that one. So now I'm going to click on this one again. This is the original parent. And we're going to create one more child product. And we're going to just call this one RGB. There it is. And again, this has its own SKU. There it is. So we're going to save and close that. So now we have the parent and we have two children. But there's one more step. See, if I go into, I'm going into the front end here and I'm clicking on products and I go and I find my, here's my LED sign modules and I click on that. You see how the two sub, the two child categories don't pop up. So we need to do one more thing. So what we need to do is, again, we go back to the parent and we go to the custom fields over here. See, if I click on child products, there are the child products and that's great, that's awesome that they're there. Now I need to click on custom field type and I'm going with, uh, which one am I going with again? Variations is a generic child variant that I already set up in my custom fields category over here. So now I'm going to save. And then we'll see if that worked.
Yes, so now I click on that and both variations come up. So all I had to do was go into my custom fields here and I had to set up a generic child variant, which I already had saved in custom fields. So I just added that. That's all I had to do. I didn't have to go in and add anything else. I just had to add that in and save. And now when I go in on the front end, both variations show up. So that's really important. Otherwise your customer won't be able to find both. Now I can go back in and if I wanted I could go into those child categories and I could add images so that whenever I clicked on one of these, the picture would change. So I can go ahead and do that, but that's extra stuff. I also need to go back in and add a product description which would show up down here and all of that stuff. But that's basically how you do it when you have a simple product that doesn't have too many variants that need combining in different ways. It's a little bit easier, a little bit less time consuming than the multivariance option. Um, and the main thing to remember is just to go in and add that generic child variant. Otherwise, the, uh, the children won't show up on the front end on your websites. So there you go. I hope you found that helpful and uh, have a great day.